In a previous video, we described the minimum configuration that we needed to build in Telemetry Server in order to start communicating with the field RTUs to allow us to perform monitoring and control activities with those devices. We will leverage that baseline configuration and will now use it as a foundation to continue to build our story. We want to show now how client applications such as Application Server can use Telemetry Server to connect to these geographically distributed assets. In this video, we will focus our attention on the reference syntax that is required to be used in the client application, application server in this case, to properly communicate with telemetry server. There are two types of reference syntax that can be used to communicate with telemetry server. The static reference syntax is used when the point reference has already been created locally within the telemetry server configurator application. In our example, we will use the pump pressure to represent that reference. The node is broken down into three parts. The telemetry server scope name, which includes the node name, the group path, and the point name. The node name is by default the name of the computer where the telemetry server instance is installed. You can customize the node name field in telemetry server to accommodate for redundancy scenarios. We were going to use the node name ATS001, which is the computer name in this case. For the full group path name, this is the full hierarchical name of the group levels where the point is configured. In our example, the point is in region 01A, and region 01A belongs to region 01. So the full group path name is region 01.01A. We need to use those delimiters as part of the syntax. Keep in mind, speaking about the delimiters, that after the scope name, there's a colon, then after the full group uh, path name, there's actually a period. And the last part of the static data reference syntax is the point name, which is the actual name or the identification name of the point in telemetry server, pump pressure in this example. Putting it all together, the syntax that will be used in application server will be telem server underscore ATS001 colon region 01.01a dot pump pressure. It is important to note that the syntax is case sensitive. The other part of the reference syntax is the dynamic data reference syntax. This is a bit different than the static one because in this particular case, we are going to be dynamically creating those references in telemetry server from the client application. So more parameters are required to be used here. As we described in here, the node name parameter is the same as what we use for the static data reference syntax. Then we have something slightly different. The group name is concatenated with the outstation name. This is required to define where the point is going to be attached to. This is the name of the outstation that will host that new point. In this case, region 01.01a for the group part, and then we were gonna attach it to outstation 01. The point type defines the data type that will be created for the point. As an example, AI for analog input, AO for analog output, DI for discrete inputs, and so on and so forth. There's some specific syntax that can be different depending on the protocol that is being used for, uh, for the configuration. In the MP3 as an example, this specific syntax is required for the point number. So we'll use point number two in our example. The last part of the configuration is the point name, which is optional. If this part is omitted here in the syntax, the identification name in telemetry server will be the point type concatenated with the point number. The resulting reference for this example will be telem server underscore ATS001 colon, followed by a percent sign that must be included to indicate telemetry server that this is going to be a dynamic reference, and then followed by the syntax of the group and outstation, region 01.01a, that outstation 01, followed by the point type, di for discrete input, point number two, and then point name pump running. Important to note that, again, this is all case sensitive, and additional information can be found in the product help under working with application server, dynamic data references, and static data references. We will now switch to the software to show the example. We have the telemetry server configurator with the setup that we had previously. We had created an analog tag 
and also we're going to use the application server id to connect to the telemetry server and i already had set up the stage with an object where we're going to populate two references one with the existing static tag and one with the dynamic tag the first one is the static tag it's a pre-configured as a float what we need to do is io extended and we were going to use that syntax we start with a prefix for telemetry server followed by the scope name, which in this case is the node name of telemetry server. That is followed by the group path. And then the actual name given in telemetry server to that particular reference. And again, remember to watch out for the uh, case sensitivity of your syntax. So that's the uh, pump pressure. Now we're going to add a second variable, which is uh, the pump running status. This is a discrete value and we're going to IO extend it. Now the syntax here, as we now know, is going to be a little bit different Again, the prefix. Followed by the node name in this case. Then we add the percent sign to indicate that this is going to be a dynamic reference tag. Then the full syntax of the path. Followed by the outstation name. Then the semicolon as the delimiter, followed by the data type, which is a discrete input. Uh, we're going to use point number two and the name that we want to give it. Running. All right, and we're going to go ahead, save and exit and deploy. We're going to switch over to telemetry server and confirm that tag has been created. So the new tag is still there going to verify that it's receiving data. The new tag has been created and we can also verify that it's receiving data. Okay, there's quality good. All right, and then from application server, we'll launch object viewer and confirm that those variables in fact are receiving data. And there you go. That uh, completes our example of both static and dynamic reference tags from system platform to telemetry server. If you like the video, please remember to add your comments below and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.